Feel free to pause the video and give the question just a little more consideration if you'd like to. In this question, we are asked to determine how much charge is going to pass through the switch after it has been closed. And once that switch is closed, charges, of course, do begin to move through this circuit. And they continue to move through the circuit until we start charging up this capacitor to its full capacitance value. So in other words, we're gonna charge it until it reaches some maximum amount of charge stored on each plate. And once we have that maximum amount of charge stored on each plate, then the potential difference between the plates becomes the same as the potential difference provided by the battery. So in other words, the question notes that the battery provides potential difference of 120 volts. Once these plates are fully charged, then the potential difference between them will also be 120 volts. So we can easily calculate the amount of charge by considering the relationship between charge capacitance and potential difference. So we are given the capacitance, it's 25 microfarads. We can change that into farads by multiplying by 10 to the negative sixth. And then we just multiply that by the potential difference between the two plates. So let's go ahead and simplify this. And when we do that, we can see that the charge is 0.003, and this would be in coulombs, the standard unit of charge. That is the correct answer to this question.